March 28th, 2018 is the date we announced our partnership with AWS. And our goals were pretty simple. It was to deploy applications faster and deploy features to, uh, in our applications faster to our customers, increase performance of our applications for our customers, and increase reliability and availability of our customers. But not do that without keeping security, application architecture, meaning that we could scale beyond what we currently have today. We did this by creating this landing zone for everybody and making that landing zone as secure as possible and leveraging technologies like AWS's service catalog and AWS config and also IAM roles and uh, API gateway with SIG4V signatures so that we could leverage the identity pieces that are built into every process in AWS so that we could know who's calling which service and log every single one of those calls to a centralized location where security could look over this data but not get in the way of everyday operation. So one of the reasons we chose AWS is because the number of regions that AWS has, that was that's always gonna be larger than the number of data centers that, data, that GoDaddy could have deployed. It's just not our core business. And deploying in multiple regions and being closer to the customer helped application performance, but by deploying in more than one region, that also allowed us to increase our availability and re resiliency of every application. In three and a half, four months, we were able to lay out the hypothesis for how we were going to govern the environment for a company that's been around for 21 years where we had to look at all this products that we had built up, some of them some of them 21 years old that we had to re-architect on the way, make sure they had a landing zone that, that supplied everything the teams needed so they could focus on just their re-architecture and just their application. I don't know how we could have done that in four months given the level of experience that GoDaddy had working in any cloud provider without the partnership of AWS's professional services.